This is such comedy gold, Sitch. I know. I know. It's Some people are taller than others. Some people are faster than others. Oh, so you're... <laughs> <laughs> you like the pause? He's like, is that the argument? Or is there something else? Are you no, going somewhere with this? Don't, it, Christian is making a huge flaw here. Okay. Yeah. He said he's being too nice. Five words. Don't let him make the argument. Don't fill in the argument right. based off right. of off of the five words. He's fishing for you to make the argument for him. He knows yes. he doesn't have an argument. Yes. Saying so, you're saying yeah. So you're saying fuck the gender differences. But I admit that there's a difference in body structure between men and women that gives men some advantage oh that's told, a good answer he completely got away with it i can't believe he, he did get away with it but but i think that was a good answer because he's like oh so you admit that there's a difference you just don't care that it's oh, unfair okay. i got gotcha. you which is because i mean everyone i'm pretty sure everyone even hassan chat mm -hmm. knows that that is the dumbest fucking argument ever mm -hmm. right well you know there's people are taller and they have an advantage in basketball how is it any different than uh, men versus women playing in the sport i don't understand uh i'm trying to i was trying to look at the chat there but i only see one wouldn't you have a a huge advantage if you were a man by transitioning yeah no they're saying so what are you, you saying lose, but there, there's like this no myth it. it's that a if you're a guy and you transition into a woman you instantaneously lose any advantage you have as being a man physically, and thus it's okay. Okay, we have the moment of clarity right here for Hassan. Okay. Look, he's looking up at the chat right now. You can see he's <laughs> licking his fingers. He's licking his fingers. And, and look, you can see the fear in his eye. What does the chat say? It says, this is straight up transphobia. Right. But it says that like 20 a million times. times. Yes. <laughs> With a Pepe face, yes. right? Oh, oh! I didn't real. I didn't see the Pepe face. Yeah. Uh oh. So right now, right now, he's on red alert. Hassan is like, oh <laughs> shit, oh shit. Uh -oh. Opportunity wow. is that Look, he he noticed that. He's like, uh oh, uh oh. So you're saying? I think, like I said, that if a trans woman is really good at a particular sport which is incredibly fucking rare for the majority of trans women that compete in general. Um, Citation that's needed. That's precisely why you always use singular anecdotes. That's literally the reason why. Like, no, Joe Rogan and, about and, Fallon and, Fox. and the new thing is you're considered. <laughs> He's such a bad actor. He's such, such a bad faith actor. Yeah. You know it's rare. That's why you use singular instances. No, it's because no one's done a fucking comprehensive study on the fucking topic, you moron. <laughs> and if they did... They would get. They would. They wouldn't be allowed to because everyone knows the direction that that was going to go. Could you imagine if some professor at a college was like, "Let me study uh, trans athletes in college and high school to see if trans men do better in sport or trans women do better in sports than than women." I typed in how many trans a are there, and the first thing is athletes are there. Athletes right. are in the Olympics. Athletes are there in the U.S. Athletes in the evidently. Somebody's uh, typing this a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Young transgender athletes caught in middle of states debate. Yeah, I'm curious. How many are there? I just want trans, to. If you've Hassan not gone on. Oh, he's way wrong. On any hormones, if you've not transitioned as all, at all. So when does it move from, oh, you need to take this amount of hormones in order to compete with the gender you're identifying as to if you say you're a woman, even though you have a penis, you can compete with the women. So then you will not, um, How many penises has nothing to do with this conversation? I don't think. <laughs> but they do have this, rules. This is uh, Hassan pretending to be even stupider than he actually is. Sensitive about the penis. No, he's like, oh, I don't think having a penis has anything to do with it. No, obviously. He meant that in terms of having a penis means that you were born male. You fucking moron. In place for this, I don't know if you're aware of this or not. Rules that actually end up hurting um, cis women, even, like Castor Semenya, and women that are simply just have a naturally higher occurring testosterone in their, in their bloodstreams. So, so Hassan's argument is... 
I don't think you should care about this issue because it affects too small a people. But also what you're suggesting affects an even tinier amount of people, which are cis women that have elevated levels of testosterone because they have a chromosomal disorder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I like that he keeps using this. Well, why do you care about this small amount of people? And then he, then he pivots to a smaller amount of people and says right. you should care about that. With a, cr- with a chromosomal disorder. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. There already is a way to try to uh, legislate this. There is already rules and regulations placed. But even that, like, that actually ends up harming cis women. If you wanted to protect cis women, cis women that have a natural competitive advantage literally get cucked in the Olympics because they might have naturally occurring testosterone in their bodies uh, that are higher. What are they saying? Is he saying that they take them out if that's the case? That's not the case. They don't do that. What do you say? I was reading something. Well, he seems to be saying that there are women that have naturally occurring higher testosterone that they don't let them compete, but that's not true. They do get cucked because they're probably going to be the ones that are in the top upper echelons competing and they're Mm going to be beaten by the trans women. There are also women with higher levels of testosterone than men, like cis women with higher levels of testosterone naturally occurring in their bodies than men. Okay, so while you love on trans women, can y'all um, take a selfie with me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, you love on cis women? Is that what he said? Or, mm-hmm. or trans women? No, he said right. trans women. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> that photo is going to come back to haunt you, Hassan. I know. You're in a picture with a transphobe. I know. What are you doing? Oh, he's making the I'm not a transphobe hand signal. Or is that the, the okay? reverse okay sign? <clears throat> no, no, no. Okay, you're not going to be in. Oh, he's spent because Chapo Trap House is like, I'm not going to be in this picture with this <laughs> transphobe. <laughs> he's like I'm over here eating my coke drinking my coke okay straight mm-hmm. white men only <laughs> uh, so bad okay um, Chapo's like this is uncomfortable <laughs> yeah he's he's not at it he's afraid to enter this conversation yeah he's smart Right? I mean, he's got it. He's like, I don't He's a pussy. Okay. He is a wussy. Right. Get in there. Throw some punches. Right. Do a backflip. Yeah. It's 2v1. Okay. Hassan brought you on because he was too afraid to talk to Christian 1v1. Mm. That's why you're there. You're the Um, buffer. Are you sure? Oh, I'm sure. I have in I have an inside I source. Be, I don't believe any of this. Okay. Sitch is lying again. Hassan's stepsister told me personally that they had this conversation before the stream. Hassan mm. is bigger than any girl I've met. This is the only thing I don't agree with Hassan about. Yeah, I'm a big dude. I'm bigger than most dudes you've met too. That doesn't change anything. Hassan is like thinking, <laughs> maybe I can transition. <laughs> I see he's got some basketballs there. Hassan, would you consider transitioning and playing some basketball with some? Yeah, he'd do great. She'd do great. (laughs) Anyway, um, I'm going to give the woman ad break here, and then we're going to continue with this Dr. Phil video. Here's the woman ad break now. What's the woman ad break? On Twitch, Mm -hmm. they watch ads for an entire minute. Mm -hmm. Live. Really? Yeah, like, you know, on, on YouTube, you only watch the ads if it's, like, a replay. Mm-hmm. On Twitch, it's live. They put mm-hmm. ads, like, in the middle of the thing. Really? Yep. Ouch. Fucking Twitch. So we can skip ahead, like... Is this the swimmer he's talking about? Controversy okay. of the year. Transgender swimmer Leah Thomas swims fastest times in the nation. Always, like, one person. <laughs> one person. Let him have it. <laughs> I just, I don't see how you don't. Adam, I don't know if you know this, but it's always one person that breaks a record and becomes the best at something. It's only over one person, Adam. I don't understand why you're complaining. Yeah. Why is it only ever one person who can be the best at one thing? Okay. I don't understand why you're complaining about this. This is just off, off chances here that one person 
is doing the thing that only one person can ever do by the nature of the category's des designation. It is it is kind of weird if you have a record and somebody comes along and they're like, okay, well, we're going to change the rules here and we're going right. to make it so this person, you know, can, instead of, <laughs> like, if it's a running thing, they're like, instead of running, we're going to let this person use a moped. <laughs> it's like, there goes your record. Right. That was a big thing with, what was it? Uh, was it Jose Canseco? Mm -hmm. I remember growing up. In like the mid 2000s, mm -hmm. there was a time period in baseball. I thought it was Jose Canseco. It's like him and someone else. I forget who the other guy was. It's like they were breaking all the records for home runs mm -hmm. and people were going crazy. And it was like this huge thing. And then it's like it turned out that they were doping. They're all, all on steroids. steroids. Yeah. And there was this big controversy about like, well, should they be removed from the Hall of Fame? Should the records be stripped? Should the records have an asterisk next to their name? Like, yeah, because, yeah, no. people have a sense of fairness. They do. Yeah. Huge, huge cheating. One person. Okay, Even so, it was so it, it's always one person. <laughs> one person. <clears throat> I don't think, I don't see how he can, he can't put together that all of those records are going to be transgender women. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I don't know why I get Jose Canseco from. It was Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's correct. We're not sports people, you can tell. Yeah, I don't know. It's just one person. Like... Are you against that situation? What? Or so are you against that situation? Since it's Fuck just one. No, I, I'm not. I'm not against Competed it at all. With the men for three years, transitioned uh, and is now competing with the women. Yeah, ridiculous. So what? Right, they're yeah. they're trans. They're they're living. They're trans. They're living their truth. They are. <laughs> they're a trans woman. I think trans women absolutely sh can and should compete with cis women. I don't understand why it's that big of an issue unless you think, and I think a lot of people should be more um, honest about this. They just think trans women are icky and weird and gross. I don't, I have a trans And that's friend. where they're like, that's where a lot of it comes from. I where don't they, at all. If that's where, they, they, that's where people, how you want to live, love you. We can be friends, all of it. But like, so no. But like, but like, what, what, like why else would you give a shit over? Like, yeah. Because did you pay, did you like pay attention to swimming and before? testosterone do you, have advantages? Have you over ever, have you ever cared about like who the best have swimmer is? Do you know who like, the second? Do you know who the second? Uh, yeah. Do you know who the second uh, fast? Mm. <laughs> the argument. This is such a bad faith bullshit argument. Well, obviously, you don't care about this thing, this sense of unfairness, because you don't care about the sport normally. Okay, so you can't yeah. you can't care about the concepts. Or have an opinion on the unfairness of this. Mm -hmm. It's like this, is like saying you could have this conversation with Hassan and Chapo and be like, you know, I think it's really terrible what China is doing to the Uyghurs. Mm -hmm. And they'd say, why do you care? Yeah. And you're like, well, what do you mean? There's like people that are being killed and raped and all sorts of horrible things. You know, their organs harvested from them. No, no, no but like, Sitch, why do you care? I mean, you didn't care. I mean, do you know what the, what you the don't Uyghurs know these were people's doing? Names. Yeah. Do you not, you didn't know what the Uyghurs were doing before this happened, right? You didn't care about the Uyghurs before then. There's people, bad things are happening to them all over the world and you don't care. Why do you care about this one thing, Sitch? Hmm? 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 Mm -hmm. You just don't like Chinese people. That's it. Hmm? Yeah. No. Fuck you. Well, you, you could run this argument with the police brutality, too. It's only like 800 people. Why? Why do you care, right? It's just a few people. Right. Yeah. People tend to care about injustice. 